Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pop, horror, that kind of thing. Today, a fantastic horror novel for you, Lone Women by Victor Laval. So this is the second book I've read by Victor Laval. The first was his Lovecraftian novella, The Ballad of Black Tom, uh, which I thought was really, really good. Um, Lone Women is, is just as good. It's a really interesting book, and it's interesting because it, it mashes a couple of genres together and does that really effectively. Um, but it's also just got some really interesting ideas and interesting things to say um, in the background as well. So I, I definitely thoroughly recommend it. Um, so it's about a, a young woman called Adelaide Henry um, in 1915 in the US. So she lives in California and it starts with her kind of leaving her family home um, where something terrible has happened and you don't really know what um, and travelling across the country to Montana um, to set herself up as, as kind of a, a rancher there. So, you know, on the, on the frontier of the American West. And I love this kind of story that's set in the, like the, the end of the, of the Western period. So I read um, The Thicket by Joel Lansdale recently, which is set in a similar time. Um, and I think it's a really interesting time in American history when you still got, you know, areas of America that, that feel like they're, you know, they're from a Western. Um, but you've also got, you know, big cities. Um, you've got, you know, the World War I, well, America about to enter World War I. So it feels like, you know, very much like the start of the modern age. But you've still got, you know, Western type stuff going on. And this this book really, you know, plays into that. Um so anyway, Adelaide travels to Montana and she takes with her this crate, this mysterious crate. You know there's something weird in the crate, yeah, but you don't know what it is. And it's that, you know, that, that mystery that, that really kind of pulls you through the, through the first half of the book. Um, there's some fantastic supporting characters as well. So, so there's this, this sequence where Adelaide um, has to, to travel from the, the train station out to this, um, you know, this homestead that she's, she's bought, this little settlement. Um, and she goes, she gets, she gets taken by this guy in his carriage with this weird family who are in it as well, this, this woman and her blind sons. Um, and that whole sequence is just really, really well done. Um, so these the kind of supporting characters that, that um, Victor Laval throws in um, really do help to make the story so that the, you get a lot of characters in the kind of local town as well um, who are really, really interesting. Um, but what you've got at, at, at the heart of the story is this story of, of Adelaide, who's a, you know, a young black woman trying to make her, you know, trying to make a life for herself in what is basically a white man's world and the kind of, you know, that the obstacles she comes up against and how she, um, you know, finds support and strength by, by teaming up with other lone women, hence the title, who are, you know, trying to do a similar thing in that kind of frontier area. Um, but it's the horror that, you know, that really gripped me in this book. So, you know, when you find out what's in the crate, when you find out the, the, the whole of Adelaide's backstory and, and why, why she's had to leave her home, you know, why she's travelled across the country, why she's dragging this crate with her, um, it, it, you know, it's, it's a really enjoyable horror mystery. Sometimes I find with things like that, you know, you, you've got the build, you know, you know there's something mysterious going on, you know there's something creepy going on, but the, the build up, um, you know, you don't get the payoff. So so when you find out what's going on, you feel a bit let down. I definitely didn't in Lone Women. I thought Victor Laval did a great job of teasing out the mystery just long enough to keep you really, really interested. But then when you do find out what's going on, um, it, it you know, it makes the, the the book kind of turns a corner and becomes something slightly different in a, in a way that's really really enjoyable. And the thing I thought was you know was best about this book. So um, you know, there's a lot of good things about this book. It's got a really good sense of place. It's an interesting depiction of America at that time. It's you know it's got interesting things to say about about race and gender and things like that. And you know how black women in particular were, were treated in America at that time. Um, and it's got, you know, it does this really fun thing of mashing together the Western um, and, you know, kind of a, a horror book and, and does that very, very well. 
But the thing that's best about this book is the pacing. I was amazed by how good the pacing in this book is. And that's something that I think we tend to kind of not even consider quite often with books because it's just kind of there in the background. It's not necessarily in your face. But I really thought the pacing in this book was exceptional. That, you know, as I said, that gradual teasing out of the mystery and the gradual building up as the story progresses of, of all the different characters and the interactions between the different characters and the tensions between the different characters that gradually builds up and up and up to a, an ending which is incredibly exciting. Um, I just thought Victor Laval did that fantastically. It's got that kind of very satisfying three-act structure to the book um which which you know can be difficult to do well it's it's a it's a classic structure um and it it feels like something that should be easy because there's you know there's fairly set rules to it but time and again i see it not done quite well enough um you know sometimes that the authors you know kind of hit the hit the beats of the of the narrative slightly wrong um but i thought in this victor laval just got it perfect Every section is just the right length and every section builds on the section before and you really see that development both of, of the story and of Adelaide as a character and of the other characters and it all just comes together fantastically at the end and you know to, to make overall an enormously satisfying and entertaining book. So this is a book that you know that's definitely got things to say but first and foremost is a piece of really, really entertaining genre fiction, which is, you know, my favourite thing in the world. So, you know, big, big thumbs up from me uh, for Victor Laval. I thought this was a really great book. So I hope you found that interesting. Let me know if you've read Low Women uh, and what you thought of it. Let me know if you've read any other Victor Laval books. Let me know which one you think I should read next. Um, and as always, thanks very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.